There are different interconnection concepts to connect the PV modules with one inverter or with several inverters. So let's take a closer look to the interconnection concepts. And let's start with one typical example for ground mounted PV systems. So what do we have? We have a string with the modules connected in series. So this, uh, the number of uh, modules varies and can be up to 20 or even 25 modules. Um, then we have a second string with the same number of modules, again interconnected in series. And of course, the, the number uh, of, of, uh, of modules, let's say 20 or even more, three modules. Uh, the number, of course, uh, depends on the voltage of the inverter. We, uh, the inverter has the uh, in voltage range regarding the MPP voltage and the maximum voltage, and uh, this limits, of course, the number of modules you can connect in series. So, we have two strings, let's say we have more strings, um, uh, three, four, whatever. Uh, the number of strings, of course, uh, again, depends on the technical parameters of the inverter. So, there's a limit, an upper limit for the maximum current the inverter can handle. So. Uh, here at the bottom we have our inverter. We connect all the strings to the inverter. And then we have the AC part. So that's the DC part and uh, that is here AC. So we can connect uh, our PV system to the grid. And of course the number of strings, uh, number of strings depends on the maximum current of the inverter. So that's uh, this, this concept is uh, called a central inverter concept because we have one big in, uh, inverter with a, a large uh, nominal power uh, and this inverter must be able to um, Handle all these uh, all these modules, the the high voltage, and of course the large current, um, and this inverter then can feed in the electricity directly to the grid. A similar concept uh, is uh, that we have just small amount of modules which are interconnected in in series. Um, in this case, let's say we just have four in, uh, modules interconnected in series and then we have a um, second string um, so again we need a large inverter which is able to handle this uh, this string or this interconnection concept with a smaller number of modules interconnected in series so in this case uh, these PV modules have a higher uh, MPP voltage compared to the, the first example. Um, so higher voltages is typical for um, thin film modules, for example, or in this case it, it might make sense to reduce the total voltage uh, per string uh, to improve the efficiency of the inverter. Of course it depends on the inverter. What are the technical parameters regarding the efficiency as we've seen in a previous video that the efficiency of the inverter uh, depends on the voltage. So in this case this is a low voltage concept with, a, with one central inverter. So a smaller voltage um, and of course, maybe a higher current depending again on the inverter. 
Um, and again, it, it depends on the situation, perhaps on the roof um, or uh, on the on the area you have um, to install your PV system. Uh, which concept uh, is better? Uh, concept with the uh, long strings, a lot of PV modules connected in series, or uh, on the other hand, a concept with the shorter strings, but perhaps more strings uh, interconnected in parallel uh, that we get a lower voltage and a higher current. A third concept which is used in general is a string inverter concept. So what we have is we have uh, one string with again several modules in a row. Uh, this number of modules can again vary between 10 or 15 or 20 depending on the technical parameters. Um, so we have just one string, so smaller um, current. We have our inverter to transform this uh, DC power to AC power, and then um, a second string is connected to a second inverter. So we need more than just one inverter in our case. So this inverter has a smaller nominal power, uh, has a smaller uh, current limit compared to the example we've seen before. So in this case, we have two of these. Uh, string inverters. So these string inverters uh, can handle higher or high voltages, but just a small uh, current and are limited regarding uh, the, the power. And then we can interconnect these uh, these string inverters uh, to the grid. In this case, we have two string inverters, so they are smaller than a uh, central inverter. Um, this is typically used uh, on, on rooftop systems uh, that you interconnect your uh, your modules uh, on your roof, uh, depending on the situation of, of shading, for example, if you have any obstacles, and of course uh, the length and the height of your of your roof, and then you use typically smaller um, string inverters. Uh, to interconnect your your modules uh, in a row. Of course, in this case, we just have one string. Um, sometimes the inverters, of course, can also handle shorter strings, and then more than just one string that they are that the strings are shorter. Let's say just ten or twelve modules, and then two strings which are interconnected in parallel to one inverter. That's another uh, concept for these string inverters. Again, depending on the technical parameters. And finally, a concept which is used just under specific conditions is a module inverter concept. So, module inverter concept. So, what do we do is we have our PV module and then we directly connect a small inverter to this module and then we can use this AC power. Let's have a second module, interconnect this second module again with a small inverter. And let's take a third module, inverter, and interconnect this. So what we get is we get AC power from these small module inverters, and we can use this AC power to feed this electricity to the grid or use it in a household, wherever. So what is the advantage or the idea of this module inverter concept? The idea is that we get directly AC power from our small module inverter system. So we have just one module, one inverter. Of course, the power of this inverter is just about uh, several hundred watts, not in the kilowatt range. And what we have is, this is a PV system, and this is also a PV system, and that as well. Of course, a small one with several hundred watt peak capacity. But what we get is from this small PV system, so more or less directly from the PV module, we get AC power, which might be interesting under specific conditions like you have a lot of obstacles on your roof or a lot of trees close to your roof. 
um, that you have a problem regarding uh, shadows and this might be then interesting that you uh, directly get AC power that this uh, inverter converts the DC power of one module to AC power which can be then used uh, in the household or uh, on a caravan for example uh, if you do camping Typically, of course, this doesn't make sense from the economic point of view because you need the module you need uh, in, in module in virtual per module uh, that makes you or that that rises the costs for a PV system. So typically, on a rooftop system, you have this string and virtual concept here on the top, uh, but under a specific condition, this might make sense uh, to have uh, small and virtuals interconnected to one or perhaps to two modules and directly get AC power which can be uh, used and, and own consumed but typically what you do is you, you try to uh, figure out uh, a string uh, module a string and virtual concept um, as the string and virtuals are larger have a better efficiency compared to these modular and small module and uh, so it makes more sense to have this concept but under specific conditions uh, this module and virtual concept might be very interesting